personally, to fix Xbox Ones, I have three flash drives I always keep handy. Uh, one is uh, with the OS UDT files that you get from Microsoft. Another is uh, Clonezilla, which you can download from uh, the Clonezilla website. I'll, I'll get into that detail later. And another is just a uh, bootable copy of Ubuntu. Uh, that's usually for... So they all have different uses. The, uh, the OS UDT, that's actually from Microsoft. And you can actually use that in most cases to fix an Xbox One without even opening it, which I think we might be able to do here for the one that needs a fix. Uh, the Clonezilla is more for taking a 500 gigabyte drive, cloning it to a two terabyte drive, and then just increasing the partitions. Um, I've found in the past that you can't just take a, uh, here, let me put the camera down for a second here, that you can't just take uh, a blank two terabyte drive and just build it. It just doesn't work. At least it used to work, but it doesn't work anymore. Uh, so you need to have a working drive first, uh, have all the proper files in place, um, have it booting, and then you can just increase or shrink the uh, the user partition. Um, so we'll get into that a little later. Uh, but what I want to point out here is that uh, the black screen makes you think it's a NAND and not the hard drive. Uh, this is just Microsoft's website for, uh, it's called, let me scroll to the top here. It's called uh, how to use the offline system update and diagnostic tool. Um, and there's a lot of misinformation about this, or I mean, it does kind of explain what the files do and what they're for, uh, but I, I don't know if it's necessarily clear to people what they're for. I'll say this, for the most part, uh, I always, or almost always, have used OS UDT2. Uh, the other bit that I use a lot is the Restore Factory Defaults. Now generally what you want to do is you want to use OS UDT2 first, the reason being um, you can actually repair a drive without, <coughs> or a system without actually clearing it, where if you do the factory, or the restore, the factory defaults, you lose everything. You lose the data on the hard drive and you basically reset the system. It's easy enough to just restore your Xbox Live account, um, but I would say if you don't have to do that and you don't have to reinstall your games, uh, you might be able to get away with the OS UDT uh, 2 here. Anyway, so um, you would want to download these two things. Uh, and just to be clear, so the OS UDT 1 is for systems that are brand new and have never had an update. I'm not sure that this is even really valid anymore for anything. I don't know whether those originally released systems. Maybe the systems you buy retail have a really old, um, um, what do they call it, uh, NAND or uh, system update. But... Uh, I doubt it. I, they probably ship with just a newer system update now, so I'm not sure how relevant this is anymore. Um, and the three is for if you're running dev versions of the uh, of the dashboard. So you're running, um, well, let's see, this is yeah. So it talks about if you don't know, basically, if, if your versions aren't this bit here, um, then you'd want to use something like this. But when you have a system that isn't even booting or you get a black screen, you really have no idea what version it has. So I. I Again, I don't, I've never used this. So anyways, for this system that's just got a black screen, we're gonna try to use this. Uh, so basically you just download this sucker here. It's, it's pretty big. Uh, you can see it's three terabytes. Uh, you always wanna try to get the latest. Uh, every time there's a, uh, an update, um, a dashboard update, there's basically a new version of this that's released shortly after. Um, so we're just gonna save that. Uh, let's put it in my save folders here. And uh, it takes a little while to download. So it's gonna say it's gonna take about 12 minutes. Um, while that's downloading, though, I already have a copy that I've already downloaded. Um, and, in fact, so this guy right here, uh, this is what I use for um, against the Xbox itself without actually worrying about, uh, you know, the computer side of things. This is trying to f use, use this to try to fix the Xbox One directly. Um, so we'll put this into the computer here. And open Explorer here. Yeah, all right. And uh, so I I just named it OSUDT. You can name it whatever you want, but this is the flash drive. So what I've done is on the flash drive itself, I've downloaded um, the two and the factory reset, and I created a directory for each. Uh, they won't work this way, but the reason I did this is uh, the reset itself is really tiny here. It's only 20, 25 megabytes. And the uh, OSUDT two is much bigger, three and a half gigs. So what I basically do when I want to use one or the other, um, so, for instance, I want to use this for right now. I would uh, cut it and then paste it. So, basically, uh, what you're downloading, so when you download this little zip file here, that we're here, I'll show you. Uh, the, the zip file that you're downloading, when you unzip it, 
it creates the system update folder. The same is true of the reset. This creates the system update. So uh, for the time being, I'm just going to drop that uh, out of here, basically. So I moved it out of here and put it on the folder. So then when I want to go back, let's say the OSU DT2 doesn't work and I want to do the reset, I would drag this into here and I drag that out of there. Anyways, um, so what we're going to try to do here is um, is boot the system with this and see if we can get anything to happen. Um, so it talks a little bit about here about what you need to do. This, this, this process is actually quite annoying. You got to hold the bind button, which is the um, the sync button more or less for the controller, but they call it bind, and the eject button on the uh, the Blu-ray drive. And uh, you hold the two of them down. You try to do it exactly the same time, and you hold them for 10 to 15 seconds. Um, and you're listening for some strange beeps. Okay, yeah. So it doesn't look like you hit the power button at all. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna we're gonna actually try to use this. So I uh, basically uh, you want to make sure if you had any experience with flash drives, make sure you basically you properly eject it here. In fact, it probably would help to not be looking at the contents, but um, gotta love the constant. There we go. So we're gonna eject that. Okay, and we're gonna go over to our Xbox here. And so you can see here we got uh, nothing and it's powered on. So I'm gonna basically show you what to do here and you can kind of listen to the sounds or anything like that. And so here we go. So I usually use the, uh, the front port here and we wanna power this off. Uh, and the instructions, they actually tell you to unplug it for about 30 seconds or so, which you can do Honestly, I don't think that's necessary, but I'll do it here just for the sake of showing you. So it doesn't power on. It's fine. All right, so what the main idea here is to hold these two buttons, the one on the left side and then the eject button on the front, and listen for some tones. So I'm not going to talk while I'm doing this, so you can maybe hear it. It's tricky because sometimes it's hard to hit them both exactly the same, and so you kind of get false starts a lot. So let's see how long this takes us here. Um, here we go. See, it's, you heard the eject button a lot. That's probably a bad sign. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm getting it there. So that's about right, but I think I already blew it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start that again. But when you hear all those beeps, that means that I'm not properly pushing the buttons down right. So I'll try that again. Is. All right, so it didn't turn on this time. This could be good. Nope. All right. It's working that time. All right, let's give it some better luck this time. Hit the power button. Huh. Okay. Try that again. Be honest with you, I'll probably edit some of these failures out. All right, so nothing on that either. Let's try it again. All right, I'm going to pause the video here. Second, we'll be right back. Uh, I think we'll try the reset.